What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to analyze the tape of fourth round pick Carter Warren, who ended up starting over the past couple of games. Uh, he started at right tackle in week 13. The two weeks prior to that, he started at left tackle. And today, we're going to analyze this tape. Now, I do want to just state this right before we get into it. Watching every single one of Warren's snaps, the guy definitely has upside. To me, the guy looks better at left tackle than he does at right tackle. So, therefore, we're actually going to jump back into some of the week 12 tape which was the second game that he actually ended up playing in. It was actually the first start technically, but he did pretty much play most of the game against the Bills as well, which was week 11. But regardless of that, I'm very fired up for this video. Let's get right into the tape. One of the things that Carter Warren flashed at his time at Pitt was his pass blocking and generally speaking, how he kind of handled stunts and those type of things, the footwork. Uh, to me, it was very, very top tier. I would have made the argument that Warren was one of the better pass blockers coming out this past draft class. Now, of course, he was a fourth round pick, uh, but he was a fourth round pick not because of his tape, but because of his injury that he ended up having. Uh, but the guy's very, very good. He's smart. And I know he's going to get the chip here, but as he makes contact with this defensive end, the defensive end's going to try to hit the guard to get him off balance to free up the D tackle. Watch the hands by Warren. He's going to get the hands into this guy. And he's going to fully extend and pass him off to the left guard. That little aspect of passing off a defensive line game to me is top tier. This is what you have to have out of a rookie offensive tackle because these are the traits that he'll be able to carry as he goes forward. So I love how he handles the defensive line game on this one. Good footwork. He's able to kind of come back around here. Do keep in mind the quarterback, if you guys look at the quarterback here, as he's getting into his drop back, he's going to actually take steps to the left right there. So he's going to naturally go into where the defensive line is stunting. To me, that's on the quarterback. That's kind of a bad job, but not a big deal. I like the fact that Warren does a good job handling the defensive line game. He fully passes off the defense men to the guard, comes back around. Again, this is kind of what he flashed in college, and I think this is kind of what I've been seeing out of some of his past pro sets. You got a really nice rep here by Carter Warren. He's going to get out of his pass set, get right in front of the defensive end on this one. And this is what he needs to continue to build on. This is exactly how you want to be able to kind of set up. Uh, one of the things Warren loves to do is he loves to latch and mirror. Those are the two things that he really does. On um, this one, he does a great job mirroring. Uh, he's not going to latch on this one. I'll show you guys a couple examples a little bit as we kind of go forward. But on this one, he's going to stay in front of the defensive end. He's going to throw a punch. He's going to bring the hands back down, and he's going to just mirror and stay in front of the defensive lineman on this one. And then he's going to once again lock in and engage. It's a really, really nice rep right there by Carter Warren. Let's get into the next snap. You got another really nice rep once again by Warren. Love the processing. Love the recognition. And I love how he keeps the drag hand out there. Almost like he's ready for the defensive line game if it happens. You see the right hand. He's going to utilize that as a drag hand. Here comes the game. And the hand's already out there, so he's able to quickly process it. Great job by the left guard to pass it off. Left guard's going to kind of get off a little late, but he still does a nice job being able to kind of get there. But Warren, on the other hand, does a really nice job being able to switch and process the defensive line game. Now, obviously, I'm showing you guys positive reps, but I do want to be honest with you guys. There were a lot of losing reps, and we're going to get into some of those as we kind of go forward. This one right here comes from the fourth quarter of the Miami Dolphins game. The score is 26-6. to so the Jets are technically in a true passing situation. On this one, the defensive end here is going to just straight up beat him with an inside move. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Warren expected help from the left guard. The slide is to the left. So you'll see the center here is going to slide to the left. So maybe Warren felt the left guard would help him to the inside, but you still got to do a better job. And on this one, he's going to just kind of get caught leaning. Now, again, I said he's a latch and mirror type of offensive tackle. So on this one, he's trying to get into the defensive line. He's trying to latch onto him. Uh, and he does oftentimes strike with his inside hand. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to strike with your inside hand, you're going to get beat to the inside. And on this one, he can get swam right over. It's a great job right there by the defensive end. I do also want you guys to keep in mind, um, in the first three quarters, Warren had a great game against the Dolphins. It was only late in the game where he started having some losing reps. I'm going to show you guys two more. Same thing. He's going to once again get caught and he's going to get beat to the inside. Uh, so you can't have that if you're an offensive tackle. Again, I understand the slide may be over to the left side and you may expect that help. But to me, this is still a losing rep and this is on Warren. Again, he's trying to latch on with the right hand. It doesn't work. The defensive end just kind of swims right to the inside. 
Of course, I will still state that, generally speaking, Warren had a pretty damn good game. Of course, this was his second game where he took a lot of reps. Uh, he actually started this game specifically. And again, there's a lot of really nice reps, right? This one right here, he explodes out of his stance. He hits the landmark prior to the defensive end. He's going to set up. And to me, this is a beautiful job by Warren against a veteran defensive end. He gets the hands right to the inside. He keeps the feet moving. That's a big part of it. Right, he's going to get the hands to the inside, specifically the right hand. Left hand lands on the shoulder pad. He keeps the feet moving, stays right in front of it. And you can see that Chubb here is trying to disengage, and Warren's not letting him disengage. So to me, that's a really, really nice job. Of course, the quarterback does get pressured, uh, but that one right there isn't on Warren, right? E even you know the half sack or whatever the defenseman may have gotten right there, that's not on, on Warren, right? He didn't give up the initial pressure. In fact, he did a really, really nice job getting to his landmark, making great contact and shutting down the defensive end. So one of the things I really liked with Warren as he came out of college, uh, as I said, is his pass blocking, right? But uh, it's there's something specific that I like about his pass blocking. As he's going to get out of his stance, I say he's a latcher, and you're going to see the right hand go first right there. And to me, this is the thing that Warren loves to do, right? He loves to get the right hand in first. And that right hand is what he ultimately uses to kind of latch. Now, we saw a couple plays where he got beat to the inside, and that's going to happen. When you throw your right hand, you're kind of adjusting your body to that same side. So a guy may be able to beat you to the inside. But if you land the right hand and you position your body in a certain way, you should be able to have winning reps. And in college, he did a really nice job being able to win this way. Of course, in the NFL, he's going to have to just fine-tune it, and he's going to just continue to develop it. On this one here, he once again does a really nice job hitting his landmark. Really nice job. Forcing the defense man to kind of just go upfield, uh, to me, this is once again a really, really nice rep by Warren. Uh, and I would make the argument once again, you know, sometimes pressure happens when you don't have a great quarterback. And at the moment, you know, I wouldn't say this is a great quarterback, right? Aaron Rodgers is in the game right now. He's getting the ball out. He's definitely not running out of a clean pocket. He definitely doesn't panic. But to me, Warren has a lot of upside. And you see flashes on tape of a guy who could be a pretty solid offensive tackle now warren has obviously given up a couple sacks i want to go back to the buffalo bills game first game he actually played in this season uh, he's gonna do a pretty nice job initially passing off the game but he does end up getting blown up by ed oliver a really good defensive tackle and he's gonna basically give the sack on this one this is 100 percent on warren this is part of what he's gonna have to develop at the moment warren is 24 years old so as he continues to develop over the course of his career uh, he's gonna get stronger Right, so he's gonna have to work on the upper and lower body strength. On this one, you're gonna see Oliver just kind of outwork him. Look at this. He gets off balance and he gets caught, and Oliver basically just bull rushes right past him, uses the power. Uh, he may have stepped on the quarterback's ankle right there, uh, but to me, that's a losing rep. Not a big deal. I didn't want to just show you guys this one. I want to show you guys one more snap from that same game. The game is already technically over, it's 32 to 6. Uh, but on this one, the, the defensive line is going to generate a little bit of pressure, and Rasul Douglas is actually going to get an interception. So as the tackle is going to set up here in his set, he's going to try to throw the right hand, but the defensive end is going to quickly jump to the inside. And I want you guys to watch the tackle in slow motion here. Watch how the tackle kind of gets off balance a little bit because he's trying to strike with the inside hand. Uh, so as the play begins, he's going to get out of his set. I, and I do want to state this as well. I love how Warren gets out of his set. He's very explosive. He's quick. Love the footwork. Everything about it looks clean. But he's going to try to throw the right hand right there first. Right. And what happens is the defensive lineman here is going to jab hard and come back to the inside. Now, because Warren has already committed to throwing that right punch right there, as number 50 slants to the inside, it's going to get Warren a little off balance. So now what he has to do is catch number 50 and try to pass him off to the guard. And he's not going to be able to do that. Number 50 has gained too much depth within this play. And to me, this is one of the things he's going to have to work on. Because 50 is now basically splitting the double team. So the left tackle here can either stick to 50, which is going to allow number 93 the edge. Or he can get off of 50 and get to number 93. But then that's going to allow the defensive end here to hit the quarterback. On this one, he's going to basically stick with the defensive end. And it is the D tackle that kind of gets around. Uh, so I did want to point this one out. You know, being a striker with your inside hand. As your primary move, it's okay, it works, but the second guys realize that that's all this guy's really doing is striking with that inside hand, it could 
be used against him. And we saw that happen against the Dolphins in those two snaps that I showed you guys. There were a couple other snaps that we didn't really get into. They're basically the same exact thing. A guy was able to kind of hit an inside move on him because he loves to strike with the right hand first. So I didn't want to point that one out. Uh, let's go ahead and switch focus and get into the Atlanta Falcons game, which was the most recent game. Because in my opinion, uh, he's only going to get better, right? From weeks one to two to the third game that he's playing in. I know he made the position change to right tackle, and that's going to impact him a little bit. But you can tell, like, as this guy got into this Falcons game, he looked more comfortable. You know, he was explosive. He was getting after it. He was punching better. And this is only the third game he's played in. And he had to make the position change, and I think that impacts you a little bit. Uh, but this is a nice shot. He's going to jump set towards the defensive lineman. You jump set when there's a play action. And he's going to do a nice shot just kind of staying in front of it. He's going to readjust his hands and just stay right in front of the defensive end. Right? So it's a good job trying to stay in front of that defensive end right there. Quarterback gets it out. Let's go ahead and get into a couple more snaps against the Falcons. You're going to get a really nice double team block here by the right guard, right tackle. And then Warren's going to climb up to the second level. This is a really, really nice shot by the right tackle. To me, this is the physicality that I want to see from this guy. Uh, now, this play only picks up about five yards. Uh, the right guard here doesn't do a good enough job, uh, but I love Warren. I mean, look at this. Look at him explode out of his stance right here. This is beautiful. This is how you time a snap, and this is how you get in front of it, and this is how you win reps, all right? Explode out of there, make really, really nice contact, help that guard, and turn that defensive lineman. In my opinion right here, as he makes contact with this guy, the right guard should be able to flip his hips over here to the right and seal this guy off. And when Warren climbs up here, the running back should be able to hit this for a big gain. But of course, you'll see the right guard doesn't do a good enough job and that defensive lineman kind of fights through it, gets over the top, and he's actually going to make the play. So had the right guard done a little bit of a better job, the play could have popped for maybe like seven or eight yards. But that's a nice job by the right tackle to be able to double team and generate some movement right? You can definitely see the confidence of this guy kind of grow over the course of this game. You got a third and four here, so this is a true pass set. I do find it interesting now that Warren is over at right tackle. Uh, he's, you know, he doesn't have the ability to strike with that right hand first. Uh, at left tackle, the right hand is the inside hand, but at right tackle, the left hand is the inside hand. And now he's not really striking with the left hand, right, which is the inside hand. Instead, he's double hand punching, which is kind of interesting. Because it does work, right? I would prefer a guy to be able to mix it up. Maybe he uses his left hand on one play and then uses the double hand strike on the next. Uh, but this is a nice rep right here going up against a pretty good defensive end. Shutting him down third and four. He picked up 14 yards. Let's get into the next snap. A little bit of criticism here for the right tackle. You got to do a better job. You got an outside zone here to the right. And he's not going to make good contact with the defensive end here. You got to hit this guy better and you got to push him outwards. On this one, the defensive end is going to be able to jump to the inside, and you're going to lose two yards on this one. Uh, you can look at this in slow motion, and you can see the right tackle just misses. Right? He's going to end up just kind of getting his hands to the back. What you have to do on this one is you got to hit him uh, somewhere in the hip area. You got to make sure when you make the contact here that the DN ends up on the outside and the tight end ends up being able to kind of seal it off because the running back on this one is trying to hit this to the inside. So the worst thing that could happen is the defense man resets the inside, right? So to me, you got to do a better job. Not a big deal. These are the type of mistakes you would expect from a guy in his third ever game. Now, Warren on this one's going to get credited for the sack against Bud Dupree, but you can make the argument this is more so on the quarterback than it is on the right tackle. Uh, in my opinion, you got to get the ball out, right? You got to be able to throw the ball out if it's not there. But I do understand this was third and 12, so the quarterback definitely wanted to make something happen. Uh, but to me, the, the right tackle does a pretty good job initially, makes contact. He anchors down pretty nicely. He does get the hand removed right there, you'll see, by Bud Dupree. Uh, if you look at the right hand of the right tackle, Bud Dupree right there is going to remove the leverage with this left hand. And this is going to be another part of his game he'll have to develop. Right? If he's playing right tackle, he has to learn how to use his hands playing right tackle. And never underestimate, right? Going from a left tackle to right tackle, it's it's a completely different game, right? It takes, you know, sometimes it takes guys five, six, seven games making the transition from the left side to the right side. They're going to call a full start here on the right tackle. Uh, to me, I will take this all day. Uh, I think if you're a guy who loves to get out of your stance, if you're a guy that likes to move faster than everybody else, that generally speaking translates into more success than it translates into penalties. 
We see it with guys like Lane Johnson. We see it with guys like Jawan Taylor. These guys love to get out of their stance fast, and it helps him become good offensive tackles because if you can move faster than everybody else, generally speaking, it's not going to be called. And to be honest with you guys, this is my opinion of it. I know some of you guys are going to disagree, but the right tackle is not moving just to move. Right, He's moving when he hears the quarterback's cadence, when he hears the quarterback actually say, ready, set, hut, when he hears that word, he's timing it, right? So he's going to get out of his stance as he's kind of hearing that quarterback say the word. Also, if he moves half a frame faster than the center snaps the ball, that could also mean the center's just not as quick at snapping the ball as the right tackle is moving. And it's part of why Lane Johnson is also able to kind of get out of his stance faster, right? He's a little bit faster than the center at snapping. Uh, but to me, keep in mind, these offensive linemen aren't looking at the ball, right? They're listening to the quarterback. They know the cadence. They know when to go. And again, I take this all day. It's my personal opinion. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. You're going to get a five-yard run, really nice double-team block by the right guard, right tackle. And they're going to generate a little bit of movement. Uh, they're going to be able to move this guy about four yards from the time where they actually make contact. You see where they kind of make contact. Look at the feet churn here. By the right tackle look at the feet move S- small steps keeps it moving and they move this guy about four yards so that's a really really nice job right there to kind of move a guy out of the gap let's get into the next snap i want to look at a couple more snaps uh we'll look at this one here it's a good snap a really nice job once again mirroring and staying in front of the outside linebacker bud dupree uh, this is what i want to continue to see this guy develop just stay out in front of guys mirror them uh, don't let them get to your quarterback this is a great thing to be able to kind of develop on Right, he's not panicking. He's not leaning. Uh, he's punching. He's staying, you know, kind of back. He's not going to go out towards a guy. Uh, to me, that's the way to play offensive tackle. Right, you never, ever, ever, ever want to get caught leaning. Uh, he's jump setting, which is different than trying to attack a guy. Right, he's trying to mimic a run, uh, but he's going to do a great job not leaning. You can see he kind of just sits back. And this is what I want to see this guy just develop on, and I want to see him get comfortable. Whether it's right tackle or left tackle. I want to see him continue to develop that. Now, there are some losing reps from this Falcons game, and we'll end the video just looking at some of those. We'll start off with this one here. You got a zone run to the right. Uh, This isn't good enough. You got to do a better job if you're warned. Uh, One of the things with these zone runs is if you're the front side tackle on the zone run, you have to set the inside edge, right? Uh, And what that means is you got to be able to keep your guy to the outside. Uh, This defensive end's natural responsibility is to contain the outside. So as a tackle, it works in your favor, but you cannot let him get off the block specifically and force the running back to not be able to hit the gap here if that's the gap that he wants to take, right? Plus, when this happens, when the tackle is not able to stick to the defensive end, even if Hall wants to try to cut it into this gap, he has to go faster than he may want to because now he has this guy coming off the edge, right? So to me, you got to do a better job on that one. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up with the final play here, second and 16. Uh, Warren's going to lose to the defensive lineman. But these are the plays that I would say as a rookie offensive lineman you've learned from, right? Going out and trying to punch a defensive lineman and then getting your hands swiped and then you get caught kind of leaning forward a little bit. These are learning reps, right? This is also a play action. So so the offensive lineman is going to quick set this. But again, you got to do a better job, all right? Don't get caught leaning. Again, it's the little things that, in my opinion, Carter Warren just needs to kind of improve on. But I think his base tape looks really, really good, right? If you look at the average snap of Warren, the guy has upside. I would not be surprised if this guy ends up being a starting offensive tackle for the Jets as we kind of go forward. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you're on this channel, do consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time with another video.